from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Thank you, and um, again, it was such an honour to be here in, in all of your company, so thank you very much for having me. Um, I'd like to talk to you today about the Better Beginnings Family Literacy Program. I'm the coordinator of that program, and it's an initiative of the State Library of Western Australia. It was developed um, back in 2004 in response to quite critical literacy issues that were being faced um, by WA families. The program is built on a strong partnership with state government of Western Australia, every local government area, and we have our corporate partner, Rio Tinto. Our collective mission is to create generational change for WA families by supporting parents in reading with their child so that they build the early literacy skills that they need to become good readers and succeed at school and throughout their life. Okay, so um, what the program looks like, um, our model draws influence from successful and universally proven models such as Bookstart in the United Kingdom, and we've adapted it to suit, uh, to suit the unique identity and diversity of Western Australia. So we have three reading packs as part of the program, three touch points with families when they have a baby at eight weeks, and then again at two years old, and then again at four. So the way we distribute these is libraries collaborate with child health nurses and schools and other relevant um, local and trusted service providers in their community to reach parents. It's a flexible delivery model and it can be one-to-one -one with our service providers or in more group uh, and outreach based um, settings. Um, as well as through these mainstream channels, we also um, see them used quite intensively in settings such as migrant English programs and also in prisons, um, where the child is often the motivation for the parent to be learning um, to read. Okay, so um, a little bit of a perspective on the state of Western Australia. We are a huge state. Um, this works in our advantage a lot of the time, but it also creates um, some bit, pretty big challenges that we have to face. So we've got a population, um, you can see there um, on the, the western coast of Australia, we have a population of 2.6 million, um, and we cover 2.6 million square kilometres, which is um, over a million square miles um, in that measurement. We also have 139 different local governments within our state and we have agreements with all of them to deliver the program. So some of the challenges that we face um, is that uh, 100 of our local governments are actually located in uh, regional or remote areas. Um, to support particularly Aboriginal families living in remote areas, a fully customised component of the program was established in 2010. Um, this sees reading packs supplemented with additional resources, um, including books that are reflecting um, the identity, culture and worldviews of Aboriginal families living in WA. Um, but what we're also trying to do is compensate uh, for lack of access um, to public library services, which can often be a, a seven hour drive away. This aspect of the program has proven the most challenging for us um, and we have an evaluation um, in process which is going to evolve um, how we work with these communities in the future. Oh, um, that's okay, so we have um, resources to support public libraries throughout the state. So we have a Storytime suitcase uh, which provides a, a a fully um, modelled, formed um, story time um, which models best practice and a parent-centred approach to delivering library programs for the early years. And this helps us to um, support libraries that perhaps don't have a, any professional staff. And I'm going to race ahead um, to our evaluation. So. But we have two evaluations as part of Better Beginnings. So one is a longitudinal study by an independent university that investigates how the program is influencing book sharing practices in families. 
Um, we can show through that that families are maintaining their book sharing practices at home after their involvement with the program and they are um, engaging with their library service as a result. Um, our most recent study was commissioned in 2016 and it was a social return on investment analysis for the program. This analysis has reiterated the findings that we have seen in the longitudinal study. Um, it has also um, given us a calculation that for every $1 invested in our program, a return of $5.64 is returned in social value. Um, this external academic evaluation for the program has been the key to sustaining our funding partnerships um, and it uh, the, the program now sits as part of a 10-year literacy strategy um, for the state that's being led by the State Library. Our hope and our continued mission is to contribute to real generational change um, for WA families and establish lifelong patterns of behaviour around reading. And that mission continues. But thank you so much for your time and for having us. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.